Welcome back to the Litchfield Media YouTube channel. I'm your host, Melissa Litchfield, and today we're chatting all about Instagram DM automations in the different softwares and how you can actually utilize them and implement them on your Instagram account. So today we're covering ManyChat and their competitor, LinkedIn. I love a good underdog, so I personally chose to sign up with LinkedIn because I wanted to do some research. This was strictly for research purposes, but I also wanted to compare the two because a lot of my clients are using ManyChat, but I heard about LinkedIn and I was like, well, let's put it to the test. So in today's video, I'm gonna take you behind the scenes in both softwares and explain how my clients are using ManyChat and the different features that are included in ManyChat and also how I'm using LinkedIn in the DMs or on Instagram, I should say, and how I'm seeing increased conversions overall. I do think the two different softwares will get you to where you want to be in terms of conversions, but let's dive in to the tutorial. All right, welcome to the tutorial portion of ManyChat versus LinkedIn. We are going to go over the pros and cons of both softwares and how much is it going to actually be in terms of an investment. So LinkedIn is one of the many chat competitors that I have found that actually I felt like could stand up to many chat pretty much. <laughs> so pricing wise, and we'll talk about pros and cons, right? So they do have a free plan. It does allow you to basically send up to a thousand DMs per month. And there is a story auto apply, but there is no universal auto apply that is a part of the pro plan. And the comment auto reply on the feed, which is key, especially when you want to grow your list and not be super tied to your phone. And this is basically goes back to how available are you? Do you have like a decent following if you don't have a huge following and you don't mind applying to everybody manually then you probably won't even need this and maybe you can do but just get away with the free plan but for the pro plan and i personally do have the pro plan with link dm i'm not affiliated with them i'm not even an affiliate yet but it does allow you to remove the link dm branding the comment auto reply right that's basically it means that when someone comments a specific trigger word you're able to auto reply i think it's oh, i have at least three auto replies that will basically send different variations of those different replies to anybody that comments that specific word Word. There is a Facebook automation included in this, as well as, you know, Instagram, it's, it's meta inbox automation, and then you do get support. But I think the universal auto reply is key because that's what's going to allow you to apply a specific trigger word to be applied to any future posts or reels or stories. And that I think is much better than manually going back into the software and making sure that the trigger word is set up appropriately. So I'll show you what that looks like in a second, but same thing goes for ManyChat. It does have the same features. Okay, ManyChat, going into ManyChat. So they do have a free plan, right? Obviously, there is going to be some limitations, but you will have the opportunity to tag your contacts. You can have unlimited custom flows and engage up to a thousand, but I don't believe there is any sort of like link automations, right? That's where the pro plan comes into play. And it does start at 15, but it does cap you at number of contacts. Whereas link DM, I'm on the pro plan and I pay so $19 a month and I have up to 25,000 contacts that I can essentially have as a part of that plan. So I thought that was interesting to know. What I will say the biggest difference is in terms of mini chat versus link DM is that with many chat, if you wanted to continue the conversation via bot, on Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp, et cetera, all the meta products, then many chat is for you. But if you're like me and you just want something super simple that allows, you know, to free up your time. So you're not responding to everybody. I still try to, after the automation is sent, I still go back into the message. It's obviously not right away, right? Because I'm not always on my phone. I can't always respond to every single person that wants to get the link. But I do try to go back into the DMs and say like, hey, I hope like this for you 
resource helps you in all the different ways that it potentially could. So I do try to go back into those messages and connect with them on a different, you know, more personal level. So that way it's not so cold and like, oh, you got the message and like, here it is, goodbye, have fun. <laughs> I still want to connect with that person in the DMs. So keep that in mind, that's at least how I use it. And personally, I want to send people to my website. I don't necessarily want to keep them on the app. So if you are interested in like having these crazy like custom workflows and automations being around like having a conversation and collecting all that information from the bot, then by all means go with ManyChat. But I'm just saying this, as a person who does digital advertising and marketing for a living, I want you to get in a habit of pushing everybody to your website, like getting them to your website because that's going to initiate some of the tracking, right? So when it does come to down the road, when you want to actually retarget people that did interact with like your website or a particular freebie or a landing page, then you'll be able to utilize those audiences. But if you keep everybody on the app and they don't actually go to your website, then it kind of defeats the purpose of you know, having a website and having tracking and having Google Analytics and knowing exactly where people are coming from, right? So obviously tags can help you with that, but this is all to say that I think it's good practice and some people may not agree with me, right? And I do think it depends on like your ultimate long-term goals online. I do think it's good practice to keep sending people to your website. So personally for me, that's kind of why I decided on LinkedIn, one, it's like $19 a month and I have, you know, up to 25,000 contacts. And I'm not necessarily super concerned about keeping them on the app. I actually want them to leave the app. <laughs> so yeah, it does scale with number of contacts. And you can see here that for 25,000, I mean, for like a comparable max number of contacts in terms of LinkedIn versus ManyChat, you're going to be paying over a hundred dollars to get that same similar plan in terms of like number of contacts. So keep that in mind. That is how the pricing differentiates and the different sort of features. Now we're going to go behind the scenes of each single one. Are you ready to up level your ads right now with the proven custom audiences that you need to target in your next ad campaign? Well, look no further. I have a free resource for you, the proven pixel permit. Make sure you enter in your name and email address to snag this resource. It's filled with an ad checklist, numerous tutorials, and several lists of proven audiences for online coaches and online entrepreneurs, as well as service providers. So click the link below somewhere around this video and snag yours today. So first let's go behind the scenes in LinkedIn. All right, now we're in the back end of my own LinkedIn account. And as you can see, this is kind of like the welcome message. It's super simple. Like it kind of prompts you to log into your meta account and then you can link your Instagram and Facebook from there. Do you know that if you wanted to do like WhatsApp and the other additional like meta products are going to need ManyChat. However, I really don't know anybody that does anything on WhatsApp, but if that's you, hey, ManyChat is your go-to software. So you can see how many messages I've sent. Again, I haven't like done this a ton. I'm still getting my bearings and getting used to all the things. And I don't obviously want to promote a freebie in every single story or reel, but this is essentially what it looks like. And you can use this manual way of linking everything after you post, but there's a universal auto reply option on the pro plan that I'll show you as well. But here's one in particular that I did link and you can see the button URL is indicated there, the button name, you can switch to a message template so it looks more organic and natural, but I'm hesitant personally to use that feature because the link clicks aren't tracked when using this template. So I do wanna see link clicks, right? Because I do wanna see like the actual conversion rate, but I can also see that on the back end of ConvertKit as well. So something to note, you can add a little message there, but I'm gonna switch it back to the button template and you can add your own image and you can update the headline in the description. The trigger is basically the keyword that you want this whole automation to get triggered by. So meaning I want people to comment the word permit on a post so that's gonna be my keyword trigger that's going to initiate this whole message getting sent. 
and I only want to send it once per user per post. So that's what the setting is on. And then I do have the comment auto reply checked for settings. That is basically going to automatically comment a specific phrase. And I have up to three phrases already programmed in LinkedIn to send to others. And then you're just going to click save. And that's essentially what the preview will look like. Now for under automations, like if you wanted to turn on the universal auto reply. So this is actually a new feature that they just launched and you can apply it to a specific platform. So it can be just for Instagram or just for Facebook. And as you can see for the word, the trigger word permit, if someone comments that on any Instagram post, if anyone comments that word on Instagram, then it's going to trigger this automation regardless. So you can add a new trigger here, same setup essentially, or you can edit the existing one. So the platform option is here. I personally don't do a ton on Facebook, so that's pretty much what it looks like. Now we're gonna go over into ManyChat. Okay, so here's what ManyChat looks like and they have certain templates, so I will say that that is a leg up. That is a step up that LinkedIn does not have. LinkedIn does not have the massive templates that ManyChat has. But again, ManyChat is super powerful. I think that's you know obviously why it's more expensive. And if you want to get a lot more intricate in terms of like messaging and you know send this message when someone responds this, then definitely go for ManyChat. All your contacts you can see in one place. You can see the different tags that they have. You can create automations from the automation section and you can label or kind of like organize everything into different folders. So that is one big difference in terms of LinkedIn versus ManyChat. And you could also have these FAQ type questions already kind of programmed in. I don't think these ones in particular are running, but that's also an option too, which is something I didn't see with LinkedIn. You can start an automation by the blue button. So here are all of their templates and obviously now they're integrating AI with the Instagram templates. There are so many, you can do an email list, but honestly, like it's all in your call to action, right? It's all in the words and the messaging that you're using on Instagram and like how enticing your free offer is. What you could also utilize ManyChat and LinkDM for is sending people to other additional links. So I've used it already for a blog post. I've used it for a YouTube video. So instead of me sending the link manually to everyone that wants to watch a particular YouTube video that I just launched, I'm using LinkDM to also send like free value ad type of links that aren't necessarily on Instagram. So I love that. And I love that option for like either one of these softwares, you can totally use that strategy as well. So yeah, I'm not gonna go all in there. There's tons of templates. And I think if you actually know what you wanna provide to your audience and you know it's gonna be in an alignment with like a paid product in the future, then like a simple automation of sending the link is a great place to start. You can also manage on the paid plan, you can also manage your conversations. I personally, don't like to do that, but I mean, I think everyone's different, but if you wanted like a one-stop hub sort of place to chat with everybody, you totally could, and you can switch and toggle throughout different channels. All right, and then the settings pretty much gives you the different channels. So you can use ManyChat via with SMS, email, WhatsApp, and Telegram. So there are a lot more options in terms of just in comparison to LinkDM, you can only use it with like the basic meta products, which is Instagram and Facebook. So I personally don't really want to integrate email and SMS with like a chat bot. That's something that I'm gonna push or hold off for the future. But it, again, if you are brand new, just wanna get your feet wet with the whole DM automation thing, I say try out LinkDM. And then once you want to like get a little more fancy, then you can move over to ManyChat. Okay, this was a huge tutorial. So I will stop it here. All right, thanks so much for hanging out with me today on today's ManyChat versus LinkDM comparison. 
took you behind the scenes in the two different softwares, how my clients are using ManyChat and the underdog LinkedIn. I wanted to research and check it out for myself and report back so that way you can make an informed decision on what software that you're ultimately gonna go with to start automating this DM conversations and getting people off the app and onto your website. I think that is the most important part, right? Social media is a great tool for marketing your business, specifically if you're doing it organically, right? It's free. It does take effort and time and consistency, but it's amazing how you can utilize social media in order to grow and increase sales for your business. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.